thought it was over. It's never over. I'm here to stay. You too, I'm here to stay. You can't get rid of me. It's never over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are back. It's your boy, B. Adams, 5138. We are live here at Adams Barbershop, 5138, West Madison, Chicago, Illinois, 60644. We are here live on location because I got something for you. I got something for you guys that I did. I got, I got a little creative. I was sitting around, and you know, when you got that artist... That artist mentality, that artist type of mind frame and mentality, you come up with things. Cause you're sitting around, you're looking at your barber stuff and you know it's like it, it looks too regular. It looks too regular and I need to do something about it. So what I did about it was I customized, I customized my first Andes Master cover. The cover to my Andes Masters. I customized the cover. Yeah. A lot of trial and error went into this. I'm telling you. I'm no professional. A lot of these things I'm doing on the fly. The YouTube, I'm doing this on the fly. The, the, this customization, I, this was on the fly. I had no previous training. I'm not a, 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 a painting specialist, spray paint specialist, none of that. I just did this on the fly. I don't even think I looked at a YouTube video. I just think I just did it. So don't look at this video and be like, yeah, that's the way you always supposed to do it. Because I may have not did it right. <laughs> I think I got it right. Well, I think I got it right this time. Because the previous times were horrible. But let me show you what... I did and what I also used to do it. Okay, here we have it. This is it. My first, my first customization. My first, it's not perfect, <laughs> but it's decent. It's okay. That's pretty decent. I got the lines kind of, kind of straightish. On ones on certain side, but I mean, hey, my first time, my first time, it's not bad. I'm actually proud of myself. I did the barber pole on the master cover, the Andes master cover, and I think it came out pretty decent. And you see what I used to do it with. I used just Krylon spray paint, red red, white, and blue, and I taped it off with the painter's tape, blue paint tape, and that's pretty much it. That's how I did it, man. You know, uh, oh, that's not it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna back up and tell you. I didn't use anything to, like, sand down or anything. I just basically took the plain Jane master cover and I put a few coats of white on put a few coats of white on then I believe I did the blue first I think I did the blue first then I came back and taped it off with the red I did it with the red and you know I had to wait wait till it dry come back spray wait till it dry come back spray um and after that, I put the clear coat on, which I forgot to bring that can. I don't know what happened to that can, but it was a clear coat. As you see, it's shiny. I put a few of those on because of the mishaps I had before, because this was an ongoing process. I had, I did it, messed up, redid it, messed up, redid it, messed up. Did it, thought I finished it, it chipped off. I redid it and redid it and remixed it. And hopefully this time I got it right. I let it sit, I let it, as they would say, let the paint cure. You know, hopefully this time it won't chip and I will be okay. And if you wanna see the back, that's what the back look like. I'm nine times out of 10 going to clean all of this off. 
so I won't have any problems. I don't know if I will or not, but I don't want to have any problems. So I just clean all of this off before I put it back on. And there you have it. Now, the first time I tried this, the first time I tried this was not this. This was actually the second piece. The first piece was this. I got these... I got these masters with this on it from, I got them off offer up for the low ski. If you don't know, and I have to explain the low ski, it means I got a good deal on them. I got them cheap. It didn't have the black on it. It was just, you know, kind of this, whatever this is, bare metal, I guess you would say, because it was doing all this turning turning colors or whatnot. So my first attempt was to paint this black because I thought it was dope. I had the snake on there. I said, all right, cool. We got the cobra snake on there. That's dope. So I painted black. But as you see what happened, this is what happened. It's just, I don't know what I did. I don't know if I was too geek to use them to have it because it looked it looked good when I when I when I did it when I first when I first did it, but um, I don't think I put enough coats of paint on it. I don't think I put enough coats of the clear coat on it, and I don't think I let it sit long enough to cure. I just went right into action because I was glad to have them and it looked cool and they started chipping immediately. Immediately. And this is what we got. It's kind of been stuck right here since it happened. So, I mean, you know, I'm going to do them again. I'm going to get all this off and I'll bring it back and I'll make a video about that. So, that's coming next. You know, that's, yeah, yeah, there we go. That's next. Next is these. We're going to get this on a pair so we can, oh, man, that's going to look pretty cool. Going to get that on and see how long it lasts. Then we're going to redo this one and bring it back. And hopefully I'll get more creative and get into some more cool stuff if this lasts. As you can see, it's not hard to actually do it. I did it. It was pretty easy. I had fun doing it. Um, the whole trial and everything, that was fun. Um, like I say, I'm no expert. I'm doing this on the fly. If you notice anything in the video that you can give me tips on, if you're a pro at this, let me know. So maybe if you see that, okay, it's not right, but let me know in the comments. Please comment and let me know if I'm doing it right, if I'm not doing it right, what I could have done better, done differently. Let me know in the comments. Ooh, and you know I couldn't wait. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Yes, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I had to put it on there right now while we live in the shop. Right now here with it. I had to see what it looked like on I didn't screw it all the way down because I'm still a little nervous. <laughs> That's why I had a little gap right there because I ain't put it all the way, all the way on. But it looks good for my first time doing this ever. My first time, no professional painting training, nothing, just on the fly. And this, see this, I took it off. And that's what it looked like. Now, I, this is what it looked like when I got it. When I got it and took it off, this was on the back. I don't know what this is, but it was like this already. So, yeah, I don't know. But on this side, I'm going to take all this off. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to redo this. And we're going to have the Black Cobra back. We're going to have it back. But, oh, man, that looks good. I'm proud of me. I am proud of me. And it feel good too. Oh man, yeah. But that's what I use to to finish the job. Uh, minus the clear coat can that I don't have, which is also I believe is Cryline. No promoting or nothing. I just went in there and picked. And I went in Walmart. I got this at Walmart. 
Except for the tape. I think I got the tape at Michael's or something like that. But yep, 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 yep. That's what it is. That's what it is, and that's what the outcome of it is, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this experience of me customizing my first and this master clipper cover. It, it, it looks, man, it looked dope. Man, it looked dope. Oh, man. Hey, I'm glad y'all enjoyed the video, but you know what you got to do. Like I always say, what you got to do, you got to like the video and every other video. You got to subscribe to the channel. Tell everybody you know to subscribe to the channel. I need all subscribers, all subscribers. Comment, comment, please comment. Like I said, comment under this video. Let me know if this is your thing. You do this, let me know what you think about how I did it. And uh, give me some tips if you got tips. Um, uh, uh, um, what else, what else? Ah, yes, yes. Instagram, b.adams5138 is where you can find me. That's where you can find me. You can always find me here. Yes, here at Adams Barbershop, 5138 West Madison, Chicago, Illinois, 60644. That's where you can find me if you want to find me. And you can find us on Facebook, Adams Barbershop, Facebook. Um... You can Google us because we're Googleable. Yes. Now, I'm getting confused. Which one is my camera? Which one is my camera? Right here? Yeah, you can Google us. We are Googleable Adams Barbershop. Google us. Leave a review. Uh, uh, um, um, what else? Where else can you catch us? You can catch us. You can call us. You can email us. You can get in. Just get in tune with us. If you need to get in tune, get in tune with us. Until next time, I'll holler at y'all. Be safe. I'm out of here.